everyone, uh, this is what's included in the Xmoto uh, WOS 1744 channel Wi-Fi kit. We're going to have uh, a main unit which is the MDR, MDR box and four, cam four Wi-Fi cameras. And also a big power adapter for the MDR, four power, uh, smaller power adapter for each camera. Since I have some backup um, power adapter here, so I'm going to avoid to use so many uh, power adapter in uh, one certain place because I don't have enough power socket for this. Um, so obviously uh, the first step would be uh, install the two uh, big antenna for the MDR, it's just a uh, screw on. And then the uh, first thing would be uh, power the MDR with its power adapter. From the power socket, it's right here. We're right here a bit. And then the uh, then I think uh, you're going to, to need a mouse to operate this system. Um, the system comes with a wild USB mouse, which I prefer to use my own wireless, wireless Bluetooth mouse. So just plug the receiver to, to any of the USB ports. And then uh, you're going to need a, a screen for this MVR system. So it could be either any PC monitor or your TV. I would say I would prefer to use my TV because that make uh, my TV multi-purpose. Most of the time I'll be watching the TV. Sometimes when I want to view the MVR, I will switch the source. I will switch the input to HDMI 1 in. I will see the MDR. Or if you are uh, using a PC monitor, most likely you are going to uh, have um, you know, a blue VGA connector which connect to here. Since we have uh, HDMI, so uh, it goes to the HDMI part. And soon enough, you will see uh, you just enter the MDR system and uh, my wireless mouse is working. Um, but uh, all the channels are showing no video. It is because that uh, all cameras are not are not connected to power. So let's power the cameras up. To be very careful to operate so this camera in such a narrow space because the cameras are wrong, so it rolls sometimes. So um, let's wait. Now all cameras are connected to power. Let's wait to see what will happen. Um, they claim that they claim that this camera system is actual plug and play. Now, as far as you can see, that one of the cameras just. Uh, come online and it shows image on the screen. Sub camera. Yeah, false camera. So it's actually a plug and play you are uh, what you only need to offer to the MDR and the camera is the power. And then uh, that's it, and uh, basically now it's a local system that, that allow you to view, view four areas uh, that also let you record if you have hard drive inside, that let you play back and find out what happened during a certain time. Uh, I think I have a hard drive in my system, so uh, let's check uh, if the system is recording. So basically, it's pretty easy to find out that uh, only, you know, on the on the corner, if there's a clock, it means a clock. It means the the cameras are the MBR is recording. 
uh, time schedule recording and uh, so it should have recorded some video let's check out so go to video playback you will ask for password so the default username is administrator which is the shortcut of administrator which is enemy then the password is nothing you can leave it empty and click ok to enter the system then uh, let's go to the video playback you can play back the past five minutes the past ten minutes past half an hour let's check the past five minutes and it goes ask for channel four yeah so it'll be uh, playing the past five minutes what, what happened in this in this area and uh, you can also you can also play back anytime you want go to menu search yeah then we find you will find this kind of bar color bars showing you uh, what the content you record and you click playback then it will start to play back four channels simultaneously obviously uh, at this time we have only one camera connected and uh, now it's playing back all four channels so this is how it works as a local unit so basically this system works on its own wi-fi so this nvr has its own wi-fi it's a wi-fi hotspot they're all four cameras connect to this nvr's wi-fi so so far we have not used any of my home bandwidth my home router's bandwidth so uh, it's actually pretty let's say pretty standalone system then uh, So, uh, what if something happened, you want to uh, take some videos out from the NVR system, so you can show, let's say, to, uh, as, a, as an evidence, so uh, this uh, video, video backup. So, uh, search our channel, you'll find the video clip here, basically, uh, it, will, it will show you uh, which channel it is, and the, the beginning time, end time, uh, how long it lasts. So uh, if you plug a USB, USB flash drive to the USB part, you can back up this very video clip very easily to the USB device. So you can play back just on any device on PC because it's an AVI format video uh, which can be played by most players on PC. Yeah, um, then uh, some basic some basic operation basically for the mouse and um, the left button will be uh, means select left button means select double click it you uh, enter a certain channel and then for the right button of course it's the main menu and then it also means return you know it also means return you click it again you always return return to the previous step um, then uh, this system does um, it's an HD system with uh, 1.3 megapixel in each channel so um, as far as you can see on the screen uh, the video quality is actually very good and um, you can also you know drag click the map click left button on the mouse and drag to the main Drag it again, you will return. So this is uh, some uh, some simple tips. Actually, then this is not only a local system. Definitely, this is also an internet connection device that enable you to view from your mobile and from anywhere. And so, uh, what you need to do would be only uh, connect the MR with an inner cable to your router. Uh, to your one to the one port of this very system, and then uh, you will see the you will see the the one port light up with green and the yellow light. That means you have good connection. So. Uh, after you connect the MVR to internet with internet cable to your router, either to your router or to a repeater. Uh, if, if you have a repeater that with RJ45 port, you can also connect the MVR 
uh, we send in the cable to the repeater. So uh, the MBR does not have to be very close to the router. So within like a, a minute or so, you'll find the status. The status change from offline to online. Then now this is officially officially an online device that you can view from anywhere and time. Um, the device ID shows on, showed on the screen is the only ID that you can find this MBR system in the internet. Uh, what you need to do would be um, so when the system get online, this is an um, online device that you can view from anywhere on time. Um, what you need to do first, uh, if you want to view the system from online, from the mobile, for example, or the tablets, iPads, first thing you need to do would be uh, download the app. The Xmoto app from the App Store or Android Google Play. Um, then when you enter the app, when you enter the app, it will be very easy. There's a plus icon. Click the icon at device by ID, and input the cloud ID, which is exactly the device ID on the uh, bottom right corner. And input the ID. Then uh, everything else, for example, the description, um, if it's your home kit, you can name it your home kit, or you can leave it just as default. For the username, you, you can leave it as the default username, which is enemy. Then the password, you can leave it empty. But of course, in future, if you change the password of this system, you, you also need going to uh, you know, change the password on the app so you can view the system and submit. Then you will find this system has just been added to your app. Click it. Then you will find that uh, all four cameras are start to uh, start to uh, stream to your mobile. It's it's that simple. And uh, what I like, what I like most actually about this system is to uh, that you can also play back the content recorded in the hard drive from your mobile. So that means it's just like your personal cloud that uh, what, wherever you are, only if you have three G or four G network or Wi Fi, you can play back the content from the hard drive from elsewhere. Let's try. So actually, uh, now I'm having the playback, the video, the, the recorded video uh, from hard drive. Actually, it's pretty, pretty clear. It's real time HD. So it's that simple. Um, I think I think that's all of the system. Uh, there are also in the, in the menu. There's a lot to explore. In the menu, there's a lot to explore, and I will leave it to you because just a, um, such a let's say such a complete system. It is hard to to cover everything. You have a very very uh, you know very complete menu. You have every single setup, every single settings. Uh, all the options in the MBS menu. So I will leave it to you to, to uh, explore everything. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope this video helps you to uh, understand more of the system. Thank you. Bye.